Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Are you looking for an everyday carry knife? Well, I've carried quite a few of them in my day and I found one that I've carried for the last six months or so that I will have a hard time replacing. So we're going to take a look today at the Ken Onion Kershaw Leak. Stay tuned. probably like a lot of you guys and you carry a knife every day in your pocket. Now I live in Louisiana where you can legally carry a knife and not get put in jail for it which some states you can be even a small pocket knife so it doesn't necessarily pertain to those people but this is a pocket knife that uh, I've used for the last six months or so. I've carried other blades, um, some other Kershaw blades, I've carried Benchmade blades and this particular knife, for some reason, has really found a place that it's gonna be hard for me to replace. Now, of course, I'm sure I'll find something else one of these days, and every once in a while I still switch it out just for fun. But 95% of the time, I'm carrying this. This is the Kershaw Leak. Uh, it's a Ken Onion design, and we're gonna zoom in here and show you guys why I like it so much. All right, so this is the blade itself. You can see it is a Kershaw. First thing I like about it, it just fits perfectly. Now, I have big hands, but it fits perfectly in my hands and it's really easy to open and use without any problem. I can close it one-handed, no problem whatsoever. If you're looking at the knife itself, it is 420 high carbon stainless steel. Um, the handle is 410 stainless steel. The blade length itself is three inches. Uh, closed length is four inches. It weighs three ounces, which is a very uh, nice weight. It's very light and very comfortable to use. Take a little bit of a closer look at it. You can see that it does have a clip here. Uh, the clip cannot be uh, changed to the other side, but it can be moved to down here if you want to flip it around. It has the Kershaw Speed Safe uh, opening mechanism, which is an assisted opening. You can see it works very, very well. Uh, I'll show you guys here. You can see the blade itself and the handle. It has a locking mechanism here that you can lock in place. So if you have it closed, and you have a problem with these things opening in your pocket, you can lock it shut and it won't open. Now, I never have this locked and I've never had this particular knife open in my um, pocket. So I guess it can happen, but I've never had that problem myself. One of the things that I really wanted in an everyday carry knife was just a small, capable knife that was easy to open. Uh, some of the other knives that I've carried have been quite a bit bigger and I really just don't like that. Uh, this seems to be a lot easier to use and a lot more functional for me. You can still open it. It still has um, you know, the opening here that you can open it, uh, the little uh, pommel there. It's ambidextrous. You can open it just as easy left-handed as right-handed, so that makes it very nice for either a righty or a lefty. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is a simple, simple knife. Now, if you look, the design of the knife is really nice, I think, for everyday carry. A lot of times what you're doing with an everyday carry knife is uh, cutting simple uh, ropes, whatever it might be. A lot of times we use it to get into packages, cut tape. With this pointed uh, end here, it is really nice and easy to get into those little nooks and crannies that you may need to get into with an everyday carry. has a nice little uh, guard here. You can just put your finger right underneath there and it'll kind of guard you from the blade right here. Uh, overall, like I said, it's a perfect little knife uh, size-wise for everyday carry. So that's it guys, just a quick look at the Kershaw Ken Onion Leak, my current everyday carry knife. I suggest you guys take a look at it if you're looking for a nice everyday carry knife. I might mention this is about $40, so a very affordable knife as well. Like I said, I've used it for about six months. I've probably sharpened it maybe once, maybe twice, I can't remember. And I use it every day on a day-to-day -day basis. As always guys, I appreciate you guys checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Check out some of the older videos for some other gear reviews and things like that. And stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.